In this video course, I'm going to show you step by step how to create user registration flow and pages like sign in, sign up. And I'm also going to show you how to create a protected page, which opens right after user successfully signs in and also the sign out button, which will take user back to the sign in page. So uh, once again, I'm going to create a sign in page and we are going to learn how to um, position user elements on the screen how to create text fields and how to create buttons like sign in and register new account button. And once user clicks on register new account button, we will learn how to present a new view controller uh, on top of the sign in page. And then uh, we will position all of these elements and create the cancel button, which will work a little bit different. Cancel button when user clicks will dismiss the view controller. And we're going to learn how to do that. And once the uh, user signs in, uh, we will uh, let the user access the home page. And this home page is protected page, uh, which means that only registered users can access this page. So what's going to happen is when user signs in, our server side code will generate a user ID and it will generate uh, access token, which we are going to store in the keychain in a secure place where we can store uh, some private information like, uh, for example, access token. And we will store access token partially. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And once we have that access token, we can then um, click on load member profile button and load member profile information on the screen. So um, which means that we are going to learn in this uh, few uh, videos how to communicate with uh, how to let our mobile application communicate with the server side code uh, by sending HTTP requests. And in this example, we will learn how to send HTTP post request. For example, in the register new account page, we will collect first name, last name, email address, and then we will also validate that uh, user password and repeat user password are equal. There is no uh, typo. And then we will send that HTTP request to a server side, which will create a new user account. Okay, and once we receive a response back with the server side, we can then dismiss the register page and then let user sign in. And when we sign in, um, that will be slightly different HTTP request. And when we load a member profile information, that will be yet a different HTTP request because we're going to uh, include uh, some uh, details like access token in the header of our HTTP request so that server side can perform user authentication. And uh, finally, we will learn how to create a sign out button and sign out button will work this way. When user clicks on it, um, we will clear the keychain. We will delete the, uh, the sensitive information like access token and we will dismiss view uh, home view controller and we will let user go back to the sign in page so they can start. So this is a simple feature, but at the same time, it teaches you a lot. It teaches you how to create this user interface and that user interface uh, can be rotated. The device can be rotated and user interface will appear well, uh, both in portrait and landscape. Uh, we will learn how to create labels and buttons and set actions on those buttons. And then we will learn how to send HTTP requests and receive HTTP responses. And we will learn how to work with the keychain, store and delete information from keychain.